When we last left our heroes. Ah! Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually. But some people stay up and use computers. Uh, I feel attacked. Do you know where to find documents, Samuel? Oh no! There goes my little horse. <laughs> night. Right. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. No! Or this gas mask and gloves. Uh... And now onward to the next scene. The tower is closer now. Someone had a lot of fun making this game. Making all those beautiful pretty vistas. All this contemplative music. Hello. Who are you? I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Me. Alright, I really want to find a bed before I stop. Because if I just leave Nico out in the open, they get scared. Uh, okay. A lot of fireflies, huh? That'd be a good thing, too. It's full of fish heads! <laughs> hmm. Nothing's biting. Probably... Huh. Filled with small dried fish. Well, fish are still alive, apparently. Oh, there's a bed. May I? There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know. And now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. I, I heard one eye and that's enough for me to turn him Irish. Ah. Well, he probably is. Do you still live here? Sort of. Fish populations near the village are thinning, so we fisher folk are making temporary shelter here. Makes sense. The deeper ruins have been abandoned for a while now, though. But I do see some kids coming in and out of those. I think they actually live there? Are you like a bird man, by the way? Are you bird people? I hope those kids are safe. That'll probably be a quest in due time. Fireflies. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. I guess you don't want to sleep there. I guess I should find someone who's got a spare bed. Shack up for the night. If they're cool with it. That's another area altogether. Hold on. Ugh, I should have gone. I should have slept back at the decks. I shouldn't have given the ember. I thought it was gonna give me a moment like, you know, this is a choke point. Are you sure you want to leave now? Oh well. Living and learning. Hello. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower! Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I wanna see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. May I sleep on the mattress? Okay. Full of dried beans. Peas. Coals. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, for God's sake, get out of here. Excuse me, do you know where I can sleep? Wow! Is that the sun? Yeah! And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. <laughs> there are three beds here. Nico. 
some kind of steel curls or maybe you're just not tired yet I don't want to just leave you before I can park you somewhere Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always says. Most of the green moss cover in our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Hmm. That is rough. Indeed it is. It smells nice. Dry beans. Does anyone have a bed? It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. I'm gonna find a bed no one's using. See if I don't. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I know better than to get too close though. Squares? Squares man, they're bad news. Maybe I shouldn't assume everyone's Irish. <laughs> so I need like my own bed, is that it? To uh, can't really sleep if uh, someone else is in the room. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Samuel can make it better again. Who's been saying this stuff about me? Are you Samuel? Um, not really. I'm just the messiah they send. I can talk with Samuel, though. Wow! What's that like? Really cool. <laughs> You're pretty cool, too. Whoa, that's a lot of pots. Good thing Link isn't here. Oats. Grain. This is it. The last of our grain surpluses. And now we're dealing with the vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean. <laughs> I was about to say, is maybe the next time he'll say, Are you offering? What? No. Not a cat. Just look like one. Huh. Set so perfectly I can't get at it. Slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive I think. Doesn't matter, one day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Guess that's all the houses I can visit. 
know where I can crash though. Hi, cutie. Green mosses to help tell where not to fall in, right? Something like that. The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small spreads. It'll probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Small sprats. I gotta be careful I don't step on these. Crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Xavier, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. That sheep is literally just spinning. Hello. Hmm, I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. Kinda just push them around. Hmm, but you are carrying the sun. Ah, uh, wait, can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Uh, okay. Come back when your hands are free. You will be rewarded if you can herd my rams. Okay. Okay, scary now. Hello. Hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Samuel? Nothing that I want to give up. I don't think. I kind of want to hold on to the Ember too now. Just for Silver's sake. On the offhand chance I may be able to give it back someday. The doorway is full of vines, Samuel. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably better I didn't fall asleep in the Barrens a second time, though. Because, uh... Only so much of that... <laughs> seems sanitary. Even then, the rest should be side-eyed. Good thing there are so many fireflies, huh? Providing a valuable service. The light they give is dim, but it's persistent. It's down here. 
Alula? Alula, where did you go? Samuel, did you hear that? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast of here. Hello? Hey, you there! Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's... the sun! Are you our savior? I... yeah? Oh my stars! Sorry for my rudeness! Huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you. Uh, long blue hair, two bl blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. I will find her. Are you from the village? No. I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her too. Lulu is all I have. I can't lose her. I got you. I will help your Sib. Where are these the kids going to the cave? The old man talked about. Hello, big guard. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? You've got the bastion overgrowth thing going too. Mm hmm? You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in the scroll first. Alright. So that's what you're holding, not a sword. Do you have a pen? Um. No. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Can I not just... Have you found something to write with? Fine. The quest for a bed is arduous indeed. Nah. Again, it's not like I, it's like I don't want to leave Nico. Just uh, wondering where I went. That feels so mean. I think Markiplier may have run into something like this, too. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Should have slept back at the docks. Oh well. This is the best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. Nice. Eels. Wait, no. It's full of snakes. Oh my god, you're catching snakes. You fool. Hello. Water sample collection in progress. Let me know how that goes. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? 
Oh, carry on then. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No, I'm with Samuel. Oh, carry on then. Hmm. Who's Dr. Silverpoint? Someone of import, it would seem. You're red. How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. So, the Glen bats are green, the city bats are purplish. Okay. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. <laughs> Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Ooh. Samuel and I actually fixed one of those earlier, in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. That's neat. Can I touch it? A generator. This one's got a working battery. I was afraid you were just gonna stop me. Wait, if this is the research station, doesn't anyone here have a pen? Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. <laughs> Phosphor trees, huh? Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Beep boop. Water collection proje project resuming. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um... My programming says that organic beans need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. Okay, I got a tube of water. Cool. It's full of little glass tubes. Water samples! <laughs> okay. Very enthusiastic about that. I'm sure we'll be thankful to have it later, though. The squares. Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> Don't get too close now. That's what they say. Seems to be bad for the kids. Maybe if I trade in the amber, I can get a pen. I mean, I don't want to, but what other choice have I got? I'd probably need to get in there anyway. Hello, person. Please do not do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. <laughs> I'd imagine that. But if there is a bed, I'm not going to hesitate. And Alula was supposed to be here, right? Computer. Hello again, Samuel. What did you do? Oh no. You changed my... That is not okay! It seems I need to help you again. Nika will not be able to progress otherwise. This time the information has you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, I do. You'll know what to do with it, then. Will I, will I, though? So it looks like an eye. 
Like a light bulb, kind of. Lil hook on the bottom, okay. Wow! Holy balls! I had that wallpaper the way I wanted it. Well, I have to go and change that now. I need to cut this episode up because I'm not finding a bed. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Reside? Bed? The pathway is blocked. By blocks! <laughs> That is a big thorn. S Savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. W we should get you to the village. Maybe they could. It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But! The sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior. If it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... well... Oh. Would it... would it be too selfish of me to ask? I'm about to cry. Here. What should I do, Samuel? Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The, the vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. The vines? That was part of you? Not afraid anymore. Thank you. That's what people were saying. Maybe the world will die out, but people will want to see the sun again, right? My hands are free. I can go herd some sheep. Maybe that'll get me a bed. I can fast travel once I leave the building. I should also explore to see if there's anything else. The vines are seeded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. It's only for now as well, right? I can always pick it up later. I mean, for all the... For all people say it's not even worth doing this quest, it's like, you know, if it breaks, whatever, I gave someone some comfort. Okay, I don't think it's right to trade this away, Samuel. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of those before. Oh, yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like, one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. 
So you don't want it right now. That's good. And I don't think it would be smart to trade away anything else. Let's go herd some rams. You are still a monstrosity. Oh, I see your hands are now free. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Yep. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker mass. If you get stuck, ring a bell and all will return to their original positions. Good luck. Push, push, push. Gentle coax. I was so close. So she looks like an anime librarian. I wonder, it begs the question why she's hurting Rams right now. But then in the post back you don't really choose your job. <laughs> he made a little victory song. You've provided a great service for all of Ramkind. In return, Take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay. Maybe I can trade in some wool for a pen. Everybody likes wool, right? Keeps it warm. It's kind of useless. Maybe not to this guy, though. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? But what can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm, how about it, Samuel? Sure. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. Okay. Wait, it's for dyeing wool. But I just gave the wool away. <sighs> Maybe I can throw it on the scroll and get a bed for the night. If I can even remember where that was. Some near the ruins right now. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. That's good, at least. Herrings, anchovies, sardines, no clue.
You're heading to the city, aren't you? Been there, done that. Too cramped, you know. But it's not like this place is getting any bigger with the rising waters and all. Hmm, maybe the city isn't so bad after all. Ah, I think this is it. Looks like it. Yeah, I know there are spots on it that aren't right. I'm just seeing if I can... squares. Oh wait, that part was actually... Well... You know, I would have figured this out eventually. This creepy voice. <laughs> Right there, so in the middle here. Whoopsie! Ah! Made it worse. Oh, but now I gotta get the center too. Okay, that's okay. There we go! Right. After this, I'm claiming my wallpaper. You. Oh my god, it changed it for me! Ah. Stop doing shit! Just, just stop doing things and shit. Ah, it's so scary. I'm sorry, kid. I'm, uh, I was having a freak out there. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. No, no, I talked to your sister. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Brother, okay. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Yeah, of course. Can I check the room you were in, though? Might be neat. Nothing, huh? My god, that... That thing with the wallpaper just freaked me out more than it should have. Wait a minute. How did you know I was the, um, messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh! That's why you're my messiah, right? Well, I... I don't know, that sounds legit. <laughs> a lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home... world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? It's a bummer, but I mean, I like the people I'm meeting. <laughs> yeah? Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Okay, off we go, kiddo. Thanks, creepy computer voice. Do ask my permission before you change my wallpaper, though. The scene I have is so calming. It's trees and a lake. It's, uh, snow, snow-covered trees and a lake. It it's, it's makes me happy. Okay. Tell me you have a bed. I've been at this too long. It's gonna be clacking in towards the two hour mark. I may have already cut this up. Oh well. Oh, can you also vouch for me here? Nope, okay. I have dye. Can't I just splash that on the page and call it a day? What is this? My signature! What? <laughs> Where was Calamus? Oh, here we go. Calamus! Alula! 
You're okay! Thank goodness! I was trapped inside this room, and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah, there was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the flooding squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurting any anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. <laughs> anything that touches them just sort of... gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh... I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it be- would it not be rude to call you by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. I... Then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Yes. Yay! Let's go! <laughs> uh, Nico's so down to earth, never lets the Messiah title get to their head. It's like, no, I'm just a kid. Let's hang out. <laughs> oh, shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> Are you guys, like, super strong? I'll be up ahead. Eh, I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. Or maybe we could have just kicked it and Nico had a brain fart. Who's to say? So, uh, welcome to our house. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. I appreciate you so showing me around. Here, we want you to have this. Glowing feather. Are we in Celeste? Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh, yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, though. It feels more fitting for you to have it. A are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Cool. Neato. Wait, can I use that as a quill? Can I go find bed? Jazz <laughs> full of dried moss. I mean, I'm pretty sure it has other uses, but I, I'm kind of fixated on the bed right now. Spoiled food. Oh no! I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. You were searching for your sister for three days? You are good, big bro. Uh. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. Lula. It's good to be home again. Yay. There are three beds here. Can I just crash here? Or is it, are you saving one for father? Jar full of worms. Bird people. It's a plush toy. That's mine. Our friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too. And she can even talk. What? I know. I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So he got me a fox plush for Solstice Day. Oh, that's nice of him. He's the best. I can't crash here. Do you like fish, Nico? Yeah, so do we. we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know some people back home would like to eat them raw. Ew. Yep. <laughs> the back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Okay. Well, I guess I'm off then. Thanks, guys. Uh, 
Okay. Huh. Hey! I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. Okay, what's up? There's an entrance to an underground passage here. It's flooded, though. This is the courtyard. It's got water and stuff. <laughs> that seems like a nice place to play. Oh, yeah, I think I should try to find a bed. Because I'm playing lo way longer than I anticipated at this point. Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen! I saw it in a picture book once. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to just do that in front of you. But, uh, you know, you did you did this to help me along my journey, right? And finding a bed will be great for all of us. Like I said, I would probably need to get in here anyway. So, feather pen, scroll. I found a pen, sort of. Indeed you do. But you are, are you not forgetting something? What? Oh, the sun! Uh, I need to go back to Maze then. Okay. Well, if uh, she still needs a moment, I'm not gonna just rip it away unceremoniously. Are you not forgetting something? Savior of our world, hint hint. <laughs> okay, no need to be a dick about it. Never have I wanted to get to a bed so badly. Well, that's not true. That's every day after work. But... Oh no, it's out of juice. The, the light's gone out. Samuel, do you know what happened? No, kid, I'm not on mission. I lied. You, really? But, but, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> the power was in you all along. It lit up again? That's right. It was completely dim before. Uh, when we first found it, and then Nico picked it up, and it lit up. Nico, are you the sun? <laughs> Phew. Maze is gone, though. What's this little thing? She's gone. Oh! There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn? She must have left it behind. Is this a maize seed? Are we gonna regrow maize? There's a seed left behind by maize. Tube of water! I can't combine those. Right! You need soil. All in good time, I suppose. Can I fast travel here? No, I'm still technically underground. But it's very grassy. Whatever. Probably needed to do that anyway. Those vines are probably going to be blocking something important. That's usually how this works. Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to leave the sun there, but I mean, come on. What kind of heartless fool would really deny a last wish like that. Especially since it seems like Maze has done so much for the Glen already. Guardian Spirit and all. That's worth some kudos, don't you think? Maze. 
like corn. And she left a kernel of corn. She is corn girl. Okay. Anything else you're gonna bar me with? Samuel, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looked like it might be a good place to take a rest. Okay, uh, to the west you said. Okay, so you tell me when you're tired. Not th I, uh, <laughs> here I was trying to park you somewhere so that I could leave, but you were still raring to go. So uh, I just, <sighs> silly me, I guess. Uh, where, where were you thinking, Nico? Because I rubbed you on all sorts of beds and you just weren't having it. Maybe this is like the one time we could just use the Messiah label to say, This is my bed for the night. Go somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, not like we're gonna abuse that. Just, just you know, it's for one night. Trying to save the world. <laughs> yeah, if I hadn't have given Maze the sun wouldn't be able to herd the rams to get the wool to get the dye. So, needed to happen, I guess. Can I bed here? Nico, you're gonna tell me you're tired and then you're not gonna tell me which bed you want. Come on. I can fast travel to the courtyard. Maybe I can just crash with the siblings. This is... Okay, so this is a plot point. You're telling me that pretty flat out. So I do get a... Oh! Oh, wow! There's a bed right here the whole time. I look like a major doofus now. Oh well. A little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Absolutely, buddy, go ahead. That's kind of what I've been trying to do for the past hour. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Maybe it was shorter than I think. So I think I had 58 minutes on the... on it before. Well, I'll know when I go to edit, of course. So, wow. So, the sun isn't technically going to save the world, but it is going to make a lot of people happy, and it can potentially delay the effect. And if people, you know, rise to meet you, they might... they might be able to make it through. What are these? <laughs> well, whatever. It's starting to get really freakier now. Putting documents on and changing my screensaver. Oh my gosh. That is some wild... That is... That is like pushing on the boundary. Making it a little bit more real. More kick to the head. Less uh, able to ignore it. Brush it off as not real sort of thing. My god, it's... It's, it's tips like these. Tricks like these are going to make it more immersive in the future. We still have a lot we need to understand. The clovers, the squares, who keeps talking to us. But in due time, we shall find it all out, I'm sure. And the fact that we're able to just help people occasionally along the way, I mean, you know, even if our main quest turns out to be bunk, 
that's going to have some positive effect on the world at least. Never underestimate the effect of a kind action. Let's follow our heart and see where it takes us, I guess. And now I'm starting to understand, like, what, why Nico was chosen. Seems like Nico's the only one who can make the sun work. The power was in you all along. Maybe, like, the light bulb is just a conduit or something for Nico's ability or some such. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just keep trekking on through. We'll s lend a hand where we can. Hopefully we can get more context so that when the time comes, we'll know what to do. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.